All right, welcome back to another episode on the channel. Um, quite an exciting week with uh, good friend Marlon Detroit and uh, Wild Eye Safaris. Very exciting week. Um, we're going to stick to a particular subject, which is trying to get an image out of an animal that's lying in the shade, which we're going to get into shortly. But for the for the moment, he has a short reel on the highlights. Enjoy. <laughs> Back into the edits. Um, there's lots of edits from this uh, safari. Uh, this is backlit lioness that we that we worked on. Um, that we got the one day. It was quite a nice, quite a nice image. However, we're not going to do that now. We're going to do backlighting and 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 rim lighting uh, images on another episode. For the time being, we're going to get straight into how to make something out of an image that uh, where the animal is is in shade. And you know, like you can see from now, this image is there's nothing really you can do with it. Um, it doesn't look good at all. However, the nice thing about an animal being in the shade is that his background, or her background in this case, this female leopard's background, is much brighter, and therefore you can eliminate it if um, through various methods. I'm going to show you both of them now, and then you can get a lot of that negative space, which is what you want with an image. So. First, choose whichever one of these you like. That one's quite sharp. That one's quite sharp. Whichever one of those will work. Perfect. Then, you go up into this top right corner. There's a little square here. This is your highlights. That's on your histogram over here. Your highlights on the right, shadows on the left. Um, and you want to tick this box. So that box is now highlighted. That just means that your highlights now are going to show up red. Areas where there's no more information. It's clipping. It's, it's, it's too bright told any information so then you hit this exposure slider like this and you just drag it all the way across until you start seeing those red areas show up like so and you want to just get to the point where right before any uh, whoops any um, red areas show up on the leopard itself like that about um, and then we'll work with that from there so crop into the image crop to whatever you like. I probably should have done this first. Let's get into this. I'll come back into the screen a bit like that. And then crop her ears out. And that should be fine. Remember those PowerPoints? That's on the top right eye. That should be all right as is. So as you can see, it looks like shit. Um, it's just white all over the place. In fact, we're going to make it even whiter. So now this is the first way I like to to do this and uh, to to eliminate that distracting background to try and make something out of a, an animal that's in the shade go to your adjustment brush here this is going to localize those adjustments and the exact same thing exposure all the way uh, shadows all the way highlights all the way blacks all the way are they already there already so and then you just paint over this area one more time keep it away from the body of the leopard itself luckily because the leopard was so significantly darker than the rest of the image that even if you brush a little bit over her, it doesn't really affect the body and therefore you can bring that body back again. So every time again from here, if you were to hit the adjustment brush again new, it's going to adjust how those settings are adjusted now. It's not going to adjust how they were previously. So essentially you're, you're adding a layer of adjustments onto the top of the leopard that you adjust furthermore onto that layer, not uh, the, original, the original painting, if that makes sense. Okay, so we've done about as much as we can there. Still looks terrible, not a problem at all. Come back up to this 
uh, square and your highlights. Take the highlights off. Now you're going to go to your adjustment brush again. New adjustment brush this time. And you're going to do something quite opposite. So come down here, especially with two things mainly, your exposure a little bit down. And you can keep playing with this and adding more layers onto it and, and trying to, to improve it. But for the time being, we're going to bring this leopard all the way back again. This is what you must use a lot of, is bring your blacks right down, darken your blacks quite a lot, exposure down quite a lot. And now, this is where the magic happens. You brush over your leopard like so. And you can see already bringing back those features right back again as if she was on a clear background. We're probably going to do even more. This is just the first attempt and you can even bring it down some more like this. Blacks down a bit, increase the clarity, it'll help sharpen it up a bit and already we're bringing back this leopard to life and you're making quite an artistic uh, image so very nifty thing to do if you ever stuck with an animal in the shade and it won't get out the shade but there's sunlight behind it this is quite a nice technique to create an image out of it and then you can even go again create a new brush and down the exposure again and let's see how dark we can go you can see bring it back completely now don't want to go too dark you see what I did there I'll show you now is those black lines around the eye that I often talk about I say you've got to be careful with them um, if you touch them with too much clarity or if you if you darken the blacks around those eyelids too much it makes the eye look quite gothic and and that eyelid quite unnatural so be careful how much you use there and then you can just brush over here like this simple 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 and voila you've got a, a leopard with a nice clean background I'm doing this quite quickly but obviously in, on your image you should uh, go quite slow and make sure you get those these borders nice and uh, clean so there you have it beautiful image um, nice and easy made it out of nothing really um, but a, a very useful tool if you want to create an image out of an animal that's stuck in the shade one more thing I'm going to show you about this technique is probably the best way if you want to blow this image up uh, quite a lot put it on your wall or, or sell it as a, as a print there's going to be places where there is um, little marks that you can't potentially see so little areas where that adjustment brush has missed a little spot or something like that and the way to get rid of to make sure you're not missing any areas is to do this you right click right click on the image anywhere like this and you should have Photoshop if you don't have Photoshop this won't work but if you have Photoshop alongside Lightroom you'll come up with this option edit in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 whatever it is that you have so click on that edit in Adobe Photoshop it'll export that image as it is edited in in that format not the original images with your edits um, in place it's going to bring that image to Photoshop this is where the the good stuff happens this is where you make sure that there's no absolutely no spots left um, inside those white areas for you to to blow it up into quite a big image so you go up to here file new and this little document will come up here and then you're going to look at your on the right hand side here you'll see the height and width width of your previous image over there so you want to type those exactly into this um, into these uh, places yeah whatever you call them so width 26 comma 6 comma 8 9 26 comma 8 9 height is 20 comma 24 20 comma 24 quite a square image resolution make sure the resolutions are the same because two images with a different resolution are going to be a different size so check the resolution here 240 pixels per square inch put that into here 240 pixels per per inch so create that and you'll see it's created a new image click V um, V is just uh, is, is your pointer go back to your original image click and hold on that image and drag it you'll see you drag it all the way up to the new image which is the untitled one with a blank one that you've just um, created now drag it all the way down and let go and this little thing will come up the target dog with a different depth of blah 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 just click yes easy fits in immediately sometimes you have to drag it down a little bit see when you hold and drag there's a little box that comes up those all need to be on zero 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 in order for it to be centered so let's see if I can get it onto zero sometimes it doesn't quite fit but so long as 
those white areas, uh, sorry, those non-white areas, the edge of the leopard itself, are on the edge of that new frame, then it doesn't matter. You won't notice a difference. Now, this is where the good stuff comes in. So you want to essentially erase away the white areas of your original image so that you're left with this white, pure white background. You know it's pure white. You've created an image from scratch. There's going to be no blotches there. So you click on the top layer, layer 1. Click E for your eraser. Scale it down using your bracket keys here. Scale it right down to a normal length like this. You can change the, the opacity up at the top here. Probably go to 100 for this one. You want to make sure there's no dots or, or blotches or anything inside that image to ruin it when it gets when it's um, blown up later. Leave flow on 100%. And then you can just rub over this area. I'll show you what it does. If you were to rub over the leopard, it'll rub away your previous image. You don't want to do that. So you're just rubbing over these white areas. Stay out of the leopard itself. Stay away from her borders. You can do this um, all around those easy areas like this. Stay away from her ears. Make sure there's no white, white areas. You can press the zoom button and get right in next to the skin. And again, erase away right next to the skin. You can see I'm still erasing away. All I'm doing, I'm going to undo that because that's ruining my image. All I'm doing is erasing away white areas that potentially might not be as white as your eye can think it is. So now you're just making sure that it is pure, pure white. And you can get right next to the skin there and make sure that that is nice and white. Perfect. So that's how you can make an image uh, of an animal that's sitting in the shade and it looks very bland. Um, that's how you can actually make a very interesting low key, um, sorry, high key uh, image. So that's one way, both ways of doing it. Um, it's up to you which one you do. It doesn't really make a difference. I'm not going to say, but I've already edited this image already. If you were in there and you wanted to, oh, let me just cancel that completely. If you, let me show you quickly. If you're back in there and you want to, this is the nice thing about having Adobe products all linked and synced, and you want to resave that, um, this image, you brought it over to Photoshop, you want to save it back in Lightroom and continue with it in Lightroom. All you got to do is Command S, Command Save, Command Save, and uh, you'll see this. You can exit this, and you can come all the way down to the bottom here, and there's both of the images. They're exactly the same because I just was showing you for the sake of it. But there's the Photoshop one and the Lightroom one. So Command S will bring it back to Lightroom, and you can continue working on it. That's it for this episode. Lots more videos to come your way. Stay tuned. All the best. Take care for now.